precisa What's up everybody? Welcome to the first episode of Use Hooks series. Uh, what I intend to do here is to just show you a little bit of how your life can be easier with React Hooks. I've been playing around with this feature and I came up with two pretty good uses for it. So I wanted to share it to you because I think that um, you should know. And also it's very important to see like how can we use Hooks in the real life, like in a real React project. Um, there's two pain points that I have identified um, on React applications. One is handling inputs, handling um, and updating the value of the inputs. And the second one is getting data, fetching. That seems to be very repetitive. Like I find myself doing it over and over again and implementing the same function, either for um, getting data, fetching from an API or um, updating inputs, especially when I make like sign up forms or stuff like that. So today, what I want to do is create two hooks, one that will make my life easier to um, update inputs and make forms and the other one that will make my life easier to request data from any API. This is the beauty of hooks. Let's go. So the first one, I'm going to call it use input, All right, And this is going to get a default value. Awesome. Now, what I'm gonna do, whoa, right, what, what I'm gonna, gonna do is to say const um, I don't know, value and set value. And here we're gonna do use state and it will be default value. All right, maybe this is too big. Okay, perfecto. All right, now what else am I gonna do? I'm gonna implement a function called um, I don't know, uh, on change. This function is gonna get one if the event from the input. And now I'm going to grab from the target of the input, I'm going to grab the value that will be from the event. And I will say set value. And that will be value, the value from the unchanged function. Sweeto, all right? And that's it, I think. Let me see. Yup, that's all we need. Awesome. And now what I'm going to do is just return. And I'm going to return um, value and unchanged. All right? So I'm returning the value and I'm returning the unchanged event. All right? And now all I have to do here is to say, for example, I don't know, name or whatever that is. Let's just call it input. I'm going to say use input and this default value will be nothing. All I'm going to do is say input. And then here, no, let's, let's make a name. Yeah, name. And then here I will say name like this. And later, maybe I can just put placeholder, for example, and it will be, uh, what's your name? All right, and let's see if it works. And it works. Just for the sake of it, let's try to console log name. So you see that it's working. Look, look at value, you see? Awesome. And because we are using this, this is the equivalent as doing value equals name that value, value from here, and on change because all the inputs have an on change equals name that on change instead of doing this all i'm going to do is just use the spread operator one two three and name awesome now i can use this for anything for any kind of input that i have and i can add here maybe if it's a password if it's not a password and whatever email whatever i can do some validation and stuff Look at that. That is use input. Cool as fuck? I think so. All right. Now, the other one that I want to show you that I just finished doing is use fetch. So use fetch is usually to get and fetch a URL, all right, without having to do all the bullshit uh, that comes with it. Um, so here, what we're going to do is to get the URL, all right, and I'm going to say const. Uh, the first one will be the payload because the payload is the information that I get from the URL. So it says, say, payload, and then use state, and the payload will be no. Then uh, loading, and loading by default, I think loading should be true. And then um, error, that would be a string, I guess, set error. And by default, I think it should be empty. All right. Now here, let's make the function fetch. No, it's call API or call URL or get payload or whatever the fuck you want. And what I want to do is to make an asynchronous function. And I will do try, I will do catch, and I will do finally. If you don't know what finally is, finally is, a fu is something that gets executed even if it is an error or not. So if it's catch, I'm going to say set error, and some error happened, so bye-bye. And finally, I'm going to set loading to false, sweet, and try. What I'm going to do is I already have Axios installed. Axios is a nice um, HTTP request library. It's better than fetch. It's way more sexy, and I use it more than that. It's just pretty cool. And now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say const um, data, 
I don't know. Await Axios get, and I'm gonna get the URL. Awesomeness. All right, const data equals await. Sweet. Now, Axios, what Axios will actually do is that Axios will give me a key called data inside of the response. So I want the response that data. Because Axios, Axios gives me an object with like status, okay, whatever, and then he gives me the answer of the API inside of a data. All right, and here I'm gonna say set payload um, data. Awesome. Now, what I'm gonna do here is to return, and I'm gonna return all of them payload, loading, and error. But this is not it. What we need to do now is use a hook called use effect. Use effect. Now, use effect is a hook that is equivalent to component did mount in React. Okay? So, whenever you have a component and you want to run something, um, that thing that you will run should be inside of something called use effect. Use effect is the equivalent of component did mount and component did update. And we'll talk about it in a second. So, I'm going to do use effect, use effect here. And I need to do this. And here I will call the function call URL. Call URL with the URL here. All right. Or it could just be this. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Now, use effect can be two things component did mount and component did update, or only component did mount. Component did mount is only what we want. We don't want component did update because that means that if our component updates, for example, if the name changes, then we're going to call this uh, URL all the time. We don't want that. Now, to change to change this behavior and only make it a component did mount, we're gonna do this, like this. Okay. This is to say to use effect, yo, only call this function when the component mounts. Don't call him when the component updates, all right? Um, and now let's do it. Let's come here and let's get the payload, the loading, the error, and let's use fetch. And here we need the URL. I had one cat. No, it wasn't cat, meow. This one, aws.random.cat slash meow. This will give me um, URL with cat images, all right? So that's it, this is it, sweet. And now here, let's just do all this stuff. So if it's loading, oh, loading, I'm gonna do, Span, loading, your cat, right? If it's not loading and there's an error, then I'm gonna show the error. Okay, so loading your cat and there is no error. Let's just throw an error just to fuck around so you see if it works, throw error. Let's see, catch, set error, error. If it's not loading, sorry, if it's not loading. Yeah, look at that, when there's an error, it goes to catch and it sets the error, cool. All right, and now from my last trick, if it's not loading and there's a payload, Fuck me. And there's a payload. I am going to also show image source, and this will be payload. Where's the name? That file. Woo! So I load my cat, and then, oh my god, I get my cat. Look at this. Jesus. Um, okay, this is better. And I get my kitty cat. Awesome. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's so much cooler to use hooks. Like, look at this beauty. You can create as many hooks as you want. I've been fucking around with the hooks all day today. I intend of releasing a package to uh, NPM for hooks that I find, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. And so, yeah, look at that, super cool hooks. We have a input like a boss, very beautiful code, and we also have a use fetch hook. Feel free to just copy this thing and then just use it in all your products when you're gonna get data. Super simple to do, look at that beauty. Beautiful as fuck. All right, people, that's it for this video. Like I said, I'm preparing more courses, including Hooks Introduction and Hooks Pro on the React subscription. So uh, thank you for watching. And let me know if you like this kind of content. Let me know if you are using Hooks. What do you think of this video? What do you think of my face, of my eyes, whatever? Just give me your comments, okay? Thank you for watching. Don't forget to eat your kimchi. Stay awesome. See you in the next one. Subscribe, like, use Hooks. Be happy. Bye-bye.